This is part 99 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss table valued parameters in SQL Server. Table valued parameter is a new feature introduced in SQL Server 2008. Table valued parameters allow a table, that is multiple rows of data, to be passed as a parameter to a stored procedure either from Transact SQL code or from an ADO.NET application. Prior to SQL Server 2008, it is not possible to pass a table variable as a parameter to a stored procedure. One important thing to keep in mind here is that table valued parameters must be passed as read only to SQL Server routines like stored procedures, functions, etc. This means you will not be able to perform any DML operations like insert, update or delete on a table valued parameter in the body of a function, stored procedure, etc. Let's understand with an example how to pass a table variable as a parameter to a stored procedure. For this example, we'll be using this employees table. Notice it has got three columns, ID, name, gender. At the moment, this employees table does not have any data within it. Now, we want to write an insert stored procedure. That insert stored procedure should be capable of inserting multiple rows into this employees table every time we call that stored procedure. The way we are going to achieve that is by passing table variable as a parameter to that stored procedure. Let's look at the steps involved. The first step is to create a user-defined table type. So let's do that. We create a user-defined table type using create type statement. And I'm going to name our user-defined table type EMP table type. This is going to be a user-defined table type, so as table. Now we have to define the structure for this table. The structure of this user-defined table type is going to be very similar to this employees table. So I'm simply going to copy these columns from the employees table into our user-defined table type. So let's execute this create type statement. So where can I find this user-defined table type that we have just created? Notice I have executed this create type statement within the context of sample DB. So I expand sample DB database and then programmability and then types and then user-defined table types. Here we can find the user-defined table type that we have just created. So that's the first step, create user-defined table type. The second step is to pass that user-defined table type as a parameter to our insert stored procedure. So let's create our insert stored procedure now. Create procedure, let's call it SP insert employees and this stored procedure is going to have an input parameter. I'm going to call this at EMP table type. So the data type of this input parameter is going to be our user defined table type which is EMP table type. So here we are passing a table variable as a parameter to our insert stored procedure as begin and. So what do we want to do here? Insert into employees table, select star from our table variable and our table variable here is at EMP table type. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that table valued parameters must be passed as read only to stored procedures, functions, etc. That means you will have to use this read only keyword. Now let's go ahead and create this procedure. Now what do you think is going to happen if we don't use that read only keyword? Let's look at that. Look at this, when I create this procedure, the error message says the table valued parameter at EMP table type must be declared with the read only option. Okay, so let's uncomment this. And now when we create this procedure, that should be successfully created. So that's our second step. The third step is to declare a table variable, insert the data rows that we want to pass to the stored procedure into that table variable and then pass that table variable as a parameter to the stored procedure. So let's look at that in action now. So the last and final step is to declare a variable. So let's call this at employee table type. That's the name of our variable. And the data type for this one is going to be our user defined table type, which is EMP table type. 
So we have the variable here, the table variable. Now into this table variable, we are going to insert data that we want to pass to the stored procedure. So I'm going to use insert into at employee table type values and then we will have to specify the values for ID name and gender so let's say ID is 1 name is Mark and gender is Mel let's insert four more rows in the interest of time I have already typed the required insert queries so this is the data that we want to send to our stored procedure the final step is to call the stored procedure and to that stored procedure pass our table variable as a parameter. So execute the name of our procedure is SP insert employees and to this we are going to pass our table variable as a parameter. Now before we execute this code let's select the data from employees table just to make sure we don't have any data within that and if you look at how many rows we have in our table variable we are passing five rows so now when we execute this code, all these five rows should be inserted into employees table. Okay, so let's hit F5 and now when we select the data from employees table, we should have five rows there. So here we have the first and second step and here is the third step. In this video, we have seen how to pass a table variable as a parameter to a stored procedure from the transact SQL code. In our next video, we'll discuss how to do the same from an ADO.NET application. Thank you for listening and have a great day.